substitute with one spiritual <laughs> question plus boosting and spiritual <laughs> the question into, in, in, in 2D. And uh, this is easy. Emanuele <coughs> participated to Emanuele participated to this thing, so uh, Businesk equation, he solved Businesk equation, and we try, try later also to do 1D and 3D. You can even integrate Businesk equation. Always the same procedure. You do an inter you take the differential, differential partial equation, you put an, it, an integral in, in front, you perform under certain hypothesis the integration, and you obtain simplified <coughs> equations, like uh, I say that uh, the, the type of equation you have in, uh, in the model called Zappi, and that there is that paper that is a source of derivation. And all uh, the type of derivation you have in HSP model that is made by Frank et al. And not giving what is inside, we, you have to go through this paper anyway if you want to understand what is going on in this. And you can even integrate even more and assuming and doing some more assumptions, for instance, of having a, a stationary hydrology. In this case, we have a very simple model type top mo kind of top model and top uh, at the box. And top model actually is the same year, uh, 40 years ago. So <coughs> uh, actually, from 40 years ago, Till almost now, we were using this type of model. And on the other side, we were using this type of model. Because they were uh, much more uh, uh, simple to manage. Uh, we have more, uh, uh, more uh, uh, capacity of computation that increases enormously in, th in these 40 years. Uh, in, this, uh, in this course also we see also this path that regard actually about transpiration. So we saw what happens in surface water, what happens in groundwater, just briefly, but to have an idea that we can uh, if hypothetically build a, a path uh, from <coughs> where we start from uh, uh, partial the original partial differential equation and through simplification so we go to simple form of the same problem with less parameters, less uh, degree of freedom, and uh, to problems <coughs> more easy to solve mathematically. So uh, we can say that uh, the our starting point is the Alton equation in the, in, the, in the case of evapotranspiration that we derived actually in this course. Uh, actually, the very first will be the transport with turbulent motion in with the Navier-Stokes equation. Now we can do we can go even farther now than that. Uh, in the in what we show is that uh, we can take that on equations and combine to other equations and obtain obtain the Feynman motif formulation or the Presley Taylor formulation or the PMSO formulation which is the one, that, that is the path that we exactly saw in this, uh, in this course. Uh, the path from the data equation to here essentially is uh, uh, um, telling that uh, we are describing uh, a subsequent series of stationary events. So in this case, the original <laughs> equation that uh, um, from where we start, uh, uh, that uses the, the energy budget is stationary, and up to a point here, we don't use the mass budget. The mass budget here is hidden in the definition of uh, um, conductance or uh, the, the resi resistances we talked about a few days ago. If we think the snow, uh, what is going on with snow? And uh, uh, with snow, uh, with snow, we uh, or we have to treat with the energy budget and the physics of uh, 
very small, it's not uh, the very part um, of the yeah the grain of snow. <coughs> and then, uh, that, then there we are still in a way that we don't know very much. After. But uh, let's say one uh, starting paper can be Jordan 91 for one who, who want to go back to this uh, to this path. And uh, uh, someone was able to show that if you start from the energy budget, you can simplify the sort of the, uh, the, uh, the energy budget. And it is a, a not very cited, but a nice paper by Kate Becker, the 96, uh, where they say, OK, if we start from more or less from the Jordan equation, we can think to arrive to these simplifications and uh, where temperature and radiation play an important role. And so uh, uh, was kind of justified the, the use of uh, models that use uh, appropriately radiation and temperature as the main information to drive the slow model evolution. Uh, the Regina Hoch, the Regina Hoch, a Hoch uh, model uh, was a kind of uh, implementation of this. And you, you you are able to use uh, her model now. The, the very extreme simplification of, uh, in this uh, sense is the, uh, the Martinecke Martin and the ten degree day type of things where we throw completely away uh, radiation and we just use the temperature, variation in temperature as a proxy for the energy budget. Here's all these spaces from top to down justified, and we in that uh, in, in that in, in that path we always <coughs> do simplification and we do integrations. Uh, there is a way that uh, so uh, I think uh, it, it could be the time now to revise also on these passages to see what is really reasonable and what is not because some of the bottom stuff here was not derived from the main principle. I am trying to, to show you, OK, we start from F equal to MA, Newton equation, more or less. The, then we go through simplification, and we arrive to uh, the simplest form we can use for these problems. And uh, But the, the actual historic path was the, the, di the different. Uh, Sometimes the just the simplest uh, solution were uh, conceptualized from a heuristics or for just because they at any time in these 40 years or 50 years we have to do <coughs> simplification due to, to the lack of ability to, uh, to do computations. So now we can we can go back or even we can, we can go and see, uh, also redo, try to rederive all this simplification from the scratch, from, from, uh, from the more general e equation we know. One, one thing, actually, which is uh, in, the, in this passage, maybe I am citing also in the slides later on, uh, someone thought that uh, this uh, simply, you, uh, you, you just think about the equations of a space, and you have kind of you have the procedure to obtain the more general uh, laws and aggregate scale. <coughs> but when you integrate, you lose information, and you probably also uh, lose uh, a peculiar uh, aspect of uh, of the space, which is the uh, topological and a geometrical combination in which uh, uh, the water moves. When you have a control volume, assume this one, you, you assume you have the right laws for each point in three dimension for this control volume, then uh, this process is like, okay, we just put an integral here, we do the integration over the volume. But uh, the integration over the volume is not correct always because inside you have path if the medium is porous or for dynamical reasons 
which are not, not trivial. <coughs> so actually the real integration should be done in these topological spaces. That is because the, the approach of someone is going to actually fail. Uh, in, in, in the direction I show to you, you have com uh, complexity go uh, going from the bottom to top. Actually, I start from top to bottom, but by integration, but you, you can go bottom to top uh, to see. More comp uh, going up, you, are, you have more computational demand. Uh, you have more, more uh, physical processes. You are more close to the processes usually because uh, some of these processes has a peculiar scale. In this case, sometimes it's very small. And uh, you usually, uh, when you integrate, actually you use some prognostic variable. Some you 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 left uh, out of uh, your integration process some part of the processes, and uh, the scale usu usually decrease uh, uh, decrease from uh, I, I <coughs> writing here from top to bottom, meaning that. Uh, uh, when you are uh, you are using three-dimensional partial derivative equation, usually you are creating a small control volume. And uh, to, to treat a large control volume, <coughs> very holy hertz, you have to go across simplifications of the equations, which maintain though with the the main features should maintain the main features. There is another difference that uh, between the model, uh, the model, the, the more complex model written in partial differential equation pretends to do a description ex ante, meaning we specify all the, the parameters before because we say, okay, in uh, in uh, partial differential equations the parameters are a physical contents because the, those equations are written at the right scale. And uh, we can go and measure uh, some of those parameters. Uh, we, uh, we get some general law for those parameters. We put in the equation, we solve the equation, we are done. We go to the lab, we measure in the lab some of these things. It's more or less like it, people in hydraulics work. And uh, when you go down with the complexity, you go ex post meaning you, uh, uh, you turn part of the spatial <coughs> knowledge in parameters of the models and uh, you calibrate the parameters on the data instead of measuring, measuring things, uh, uh, measuring things uh, with instruments. Uh, it's not so in, in so easy discussion actually because what is measuring is actually maybe uh, is sometimes uh, very much complicated because uh, uh, tools for measuring sometimes are uh, uh, in, imply very nonlinear models <coughs> and the extreme case is the case of remote sensing where there is a, a big change of derivations from uh, what we see uh, from remote sensing and what is the final product that hydrologists use. So, uh, the right way act actually would, would see that uh, if uh, we, could, we could go like, a, 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 I don't know, like quantum from quantum mechanics to, to move to Newtonian mechanics by integration, meaning that uh, Variables there sometimes cancel, and we have a merging of new variables that actually are effective drivers of the motion, which are not the one that we measure at the most small scale. And this could actually we saw that the ideological scale goes from the dimension of a stoma, which is some micrometers, to the whole earth, to the Amazon River. Eight more than 8 million square kilometers. And we want to give answer to uh, at all these scales. 
So, uh, uh, in, in principle, we have to use, uh, if we, we, we have to take out a word, we, uh, we have to say that going from the small to the biggest, we have to do statistics. And I learn how these statistics actually influence the higher scales. And there are tools that I were developed recently on that side, tools that can help. <coughs> When I was kind of criticizing the way of uh, integrating over, over space, just you put just an Instagram in space, there is actually a tradition in this, which is what was pretty well, uh, well um, um, covered in these papers, and uh, uh, effectively was gray, <coughs> the last one in the in, the, in that uh, produce also some books about the way to uh, go across scale from uh, from bottom to top. But what I'm thinking that uh, okay, there can be notational physics there that in doing integration, doing all these mathematical passages, uh, you hide sometimes the physics of the problem. Uh, and uh, we pair, uh, we we meet, uh, we meet some inside of the physics and but uh, if, if after say it's 99 20 years ago uh, some ideas pass through this paper are very well cited but as I thought I think they miss something miss something in the topology of the processes so uh, uh, the idea was uh, that uh, yeah you have to take into account all these kind of things with a flexible way to model, it doesn't exist the best model in, in a sense. Uh, you have to take into account the scale at which you are working. You have to take into account uh, the, the, the way of sim the simplification you are doing. And you, have, and you need to have a flexible way to put your idea in. That's why we built the geoframe system. 